What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here. And for the love of all things holy, when will this ever end? When will this come to a stop? Seriously, people, I know that even the Yas Queen Britney fans, even y'all, gotta be getting tired of this nutcase making herself look like an idiot on Instagram every day, crying out for attention. And I'm going to be honest with you all, because your own friends, your own acquaintances, the people that you talk to online in your Britney Spears echo chambers, they're not going to tell you the truth, but I will. Britney is not only making herself look like a complete crazy idiot, she's making y'all look bad as well. Because when you sit here as a grown adult and you try to defend or explain away Britney's actions, you're making yourself look bad. Now I know that the people in your echo chamber might not think so. That one guy or girl that you talk to on social media that you've never seen, but they have a, a picture of Britney Spears as their profile picture, and you think they're, they're your friend, and they all share the same opinions as you. Those people don't really matter in the grand scheme of things. I can guarantee you that any normal, average person, the general public, anyone that's not obsessed with Britney, will look at you like you are a complete idiot. They will look at you differently if they see you defending whatever the hell Britney's had going on since she got out of the conservatorship. But you want to know what Britney reminds me of right now? She reminds me of an out-of-control bad toddler. You know the types. The types, that they'll do something bad, right? And you'll ignore it. And then they'll do something else bad. And you'll kind of ignore it until they just increasingly do things that are worse and worse until you scold them or discipline them or get agitated or upset. That's what Britney is. She's going to continue to level up her actions, continue to do things that are more stupid and outrageous until someone speaks out. I think that the reality is, even if Britney doesn't know it, she is craving. She is craving not just the attention, but she is craving someone that cares about her enough to tell her that she looks ridiculous and that she needs to get her ish together. And if I was Britney's friend, or if I was any of your friends and you were doing this, I would be the guy to tell you that. Sometimes, you need that friend that just tells you, you know, like, Brittany, what are you doing here? You're twirling around with kitchen knives, Brittany. Not only does this kind of look crazy, but your dance moves effing suck. Like your dance moves are legit horrible. So not only do you look crazy dancing around with these knives, not only is it very dangerous to twirl all around with these knives, but nothing about this looks artistic, nothing about this looks cute, nothing about this looks cool. You just look like a crazy 40-something-year-old woman twirling around in circles with kitchen knives. You look like my worst nightmare. You need to cut it out. Someone just needs to tell this woman to cut it out, but no one wants to. We've gotten to the point that now Brittany, she has a stripper pole in her living room that she has surrounded with mirrors, right? So literally all day as you're working, as you're doing something constructive, as you're tending to your kids, unlike Brittany, because Brittany never took care of her kids. While everyone's doing normal things in life, constructive things, Brittany is in her living room, hanging on to a stripper pole, looking at herself, in like 14 different mirrors that surround her. If that does not scream narcissist, I don't know what does. And listen, I have nothing against strippers. I have nothing against pole dancing. In fact, I think there is an art to pole dancing. But Britney isn't pole dancing. And Britney's not a stripper. 
She's literally just sitting there making herself look stupid while showing off her lack of butt cheeks because she has no hips, she has no butt cheeks, and frankly, I'm tired of seeing those pancakes on my Instagram every day. But here's the reality, people. Britney Spears got that stripper pole because she thought it was going to up the ante. She thought it, that, that, that it would up the shock value and it would cause a stir and it would get her a lot of attention. But in reality, a lot of people saw something like that coming. The majority of people I see, they're not intrigued by this. In fact, if you're a man and you're turned on by Britney's dances with her low rise freaking panties, ladies, never wear low rise panties, please. I'm sure that some of y'all probably look better in them than Britney because like I said, Britney has no hips, but still low rise panties. It's not a look. It, it, it never really was. Please don't do it. Do not let Britney drag you down that dark path. But fellas, if you're turned on by this, you need to question yourself, okay? There's nothing wrong with, with seeing an attractive lady on a pole and, and liking it, but not in this situation, okay? If you find yourself being turned on or attracted by this, you may need to just question yourself a little bit, okay? That's all I'm saying. But anyways, Brittany brought the stripper pole because she thought it was going to up the ante. But in reality, all that happened was a different section of the internet. Normal people started seeing the videos and they've been dragging her, making fun of her for weeks on end. They say that she's built like SpongeBob. One person said that she's built like Chris Jericho and I cannot stop laughing because that's true. That's not me trying to body shame. I'm a fat guy. But at the end of the day, let's just be honest here. If you're going to continue doing this type of stuff, people are going to start critiquing it and tearing Britney apart. And you, yes, Queen Britney fans, you don't want that. You don't want the wider internet and the wider public getting a hold of this story because no one thinks it's normal and everyone is going to meme it to death. But like I said, she thought that this stripper pole was going to up the ante. Instead, all that it led to was people not really caring and people making fun of her. So now she feels like she has to up the ante again, this time by dancing around with a bunch of kitchen knives. She wants you to be concerned. She wants you to talk about it. She wants that attention. No normal person in their right mind does stuff like this. Like you watching this video right now. Do you have an urge to get up and go grab your biggest kitchen knives and start dancing all around? Like, like, like why? Why, and why would you do that? Who wants to do stuff like this? Nobody. Unless you're really crying out for attention. Now, this just goes to show that everything we've heard was true, though. TMZ and other outlets have reported that Britney Spears has an obsession with knives. And I believe it. The funny thing about TMZ is everyone believes TMZ when TMZ is talking about a celebrity that they don't like. But then when TMZ talks about a celebrity that people like, everyone's all oh, TMZ is fake news, blah, blah, blah. I think TMZ has actually been pretty accurate on their reporting on Britney. And I say that as someone who has watched this situation play out closely, and I really don't even need these news outlets reporting on stuff that I've seen with my own two eyes. So when people get all up in arms about TMZ, I understand, you know, but at the same time, I think they've been telling the truth. But yeah, here we have it, folks. I don't know what excuses will be made for this. Obviously, there will be some. Britney is now trying to claim that the knives are fake, but they are 100% real. You can see in the video that they're real. And if you go on Instagram and the sound is on, you hear her clinking the metal together. So these knives are real. And for some reason, I guess the stripper poles weren't enough. Her pulling her pants down weren't enough. Her spreading her butt cheeks wasn't enough. Now she has to dance around with knives to get people's attention. Because at the end of the day, her twirling around naked has gotten old. And that's where this gets dangerous. That's where these Yas Queen Britney fans, if you really care about this woman at all, you need to start speaking up and trying to step in because we're witnessing a dangerous path. This is escalation, if you will. She's going to keep doing wilder and wilder things to get attention. 
because as you can see, her being naked and acting a fool, that's kind of gotten old. We've seen it a thousand times. So now she's pulling out the knives. I'm going to dance with knives. Next thing we know, this chick will be swallowing swords and outing freaking torches with her tongue. Like, you got to be careful here. Before we know it, Brittany will be part of a traveling circus doing Lord knows what, okay? But for real, all jokes aside, like I said, there's levels to this. And you can see that she's like climbing this ladder for attention. And each step becomes irrelevant once she does too much. So all of the naked photos, no one cares anymore. The stripper pole, people cared for about a day, but no one cares anymore. So now it's the knives. What will be next, ladies and gentlemen? If people don't step in, if the course isn't corrected, if someone doesn't let Britney know that this is a bad look now, it's only going to continue getting more outrageous, just like that bad out of control toddler. You should have corrected them when they threw the block across the room. But now they broke your family's vase. That's what's happening with Britney. You should have corrected Britney. Society as a whole should have let her know that it wasn't a good look for her talking crap to her sons while spreading her butt cheeks on Instagram. But people have allowed this crazy stuff to go on. And when I say allow, I know that Britney is a free woman, free to make her own decisions. But when you have millions of people cheering you on as you make horrible decisions, it's hard for you to tell that the decisions that you're making are horrible. So people are empowering her. They're encouraging her to act a fool. And the more that happens, it's going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. Right now, we, we've gone past the, the exposing your breast. I, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, Brittany was riding around topless with total strangers. It's only a matter of time before there's a lawsuit out there. But now we've already gone from the, da the, the, the naked dancing to now we're dancing with knives. Next thing, maybe Brittany will we'll move somewhere and go buy a gun and then she'll dance around and play Russian roulette. Do you think her fans will like that? Because that's what's coming next. Let me know your thoughts down below, though. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and try not to go crazy like Britney Spears.